hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be showing you several elements that you can access in Canva for your next design as you're seeing here you'll be seeing some hand-drawn elements some organic illustration elements and you'll also be seeing some bold and colorful ones so if you'd like to see that guys continue watching I'll see you guys in a bit okay guys here we are in Canva so for the different elements that I'll be showing you, I'll be selecting an Instagram template to work with. It's popping up here, so I'll just select it and open it up. So here I'm just going to choose a blank template. Now the first set of elements that we're looking at, guys, are the best elements that you can find for organic illustrations. For that, we're going to head down to the elements and the first one is delicate organic so these are the different ones that we have here guys once you type in that those words so I'm just going to drag one over to the page here so you guys can see what this is looking like now guys for the different elements that I'll show you throughout this video some of them might be available for free some might be available on the pro version of Canva so depending on which version of Canva that you have then you know you'll work with the ones that are available to you so even in this section here some of these are free some of them are on the pro version so again just be mindful of that let me add another page so the next one that we're looking at is organic blob so these are the organic blob guys All right so depending on the project that you're working on then you'll just go ahead and find the one that works for you on to the next one the next one guys is if you see me looking to the side guys that's because I have them written down so I'm just looking to the side to to get them so the next one is organic lines So here we are. These are some of what you have here. And guys, depend if you, as you notice here, or if you were looking, when I selected this one, this section popped up that says magic recommendations. So if you select see all, then it would provide you with some other elements that are somewhat similar to the one that you were looking at. All right, so these are the different ones that we have for organic lines. Let me minimize this some more. So this is what we have for organic lines, guys. Next up, we have organic rainbows. So these are the different ones. And from what I'm seeing here, guys, Mm, the majority of these appear to be free. I, I haven't seen one that's on the pro version as yet. So these appear to be all free. Okay, next up we have uh, organic. Uh, so the next one is organic sketched fruit. So this is what we're working with for organic sketched fruits. So the next one guys is organic summer. Mm, these are cute. So what are some of the designs that you'll be using these in guys? Share with me in the comment section. This is, these are the different ones that we have here for organic summer. We have some hand gestures, some beach vibe elements, and so on. Let me select uh, magic recommendations here so we can see what we have. So we have some more of that. Okay. Okay, so that's it for organic illustrations, guys. So now we're moving on to basic hand-drawn shapes 
so that's the next type of elements that i'll be showing you guys now so let me get another page for that the first one guys is basic hand drawn shapes so here we are this is what we're working with for basic hand drawn shapes okay on to the next one so the next one guys is camping rustic drawing and it's showing up here so i'm just going to select it so this has quite a few elements here you can you can do so much with these elements guys i created some flashcards not flashcards i created some thank you cards using some of these elements a while back So this is what you're working with for these types of elements. Quite a bit to choose from. Okay, now for the next one. So the next one guys is hand drawn animals. Hmm. So this is what we're working with here for hand-drawn animals. <laughs> I like how they, they have a little, uh, they're quite expressive. Pretty cool. So hand-drawn animals is what we have here. Okay, so on to the next one. So the next one guys is hand drawn pro oh cool so these are animated guys pretty cool let me know if you guys will be using some of these or which ones you'll be using we have this flower mm, pretty cool all right let's move on so the next one guys is hand painted so we have quite a few different elements here that falls within this category you have these flowers some frames really nice and uh quite of well so far i'm just seeing free let me go back up to the top yeah so a few pro ones are here as well but you do have a number of free ones it seems yeah for sure these right here that i just selected they're free so again you know if you're using the free version of canva you can definitely use up some of these elements okay so the next element that falls within this category of hand-drawn elements is is morning stories so this is what we have so this is what we have for morning stories guys The next one is simple drawn objects. So this is what we have here. Okay, next up guys, we have universal scenery. Yeah. So this is the next one, Universal Scenery. So that's it guys for the hand-drawn elements. So I'm moving to the last set of elements guys for today. <laughs> and these ones are bold and colorful. So the first one is bold. foliage so this is what we have for this one mm. 
Mm, really nice i like these elements i like how you know i like these elements that i've been showing you guys i mean you can do so much if you're creating journals cards you know all of that you can do so much with these elements the next one guys is bright leaves let me get another page for this one so for bright leaves these are some of the ones that you have here for it these are some good ones what do you guys think let me know in the comment section what do you guys think okay so next up the next one is playful Ooh, let me get another page for this I like these all right so this is the last one now guys and the last one is vivid contrast objects okay so these are the ones that we're working with guys for this you can do so much with this again depending on what it is that you're creating you can do so much if you're doing journals again i, I go back to that or planners you can do so much it's amazing okay guys so that's it uh so this is the last one vivid contrast objects really cool elements to use up so these are the different elements that we just looked at guys let me know which ones you'll be trying out in your next design feel free to ask any questions you may have in the comment section below and if you too know of other elements in here feel free to share their names in the comment section so we can all check them out as well guys if you found this video useful don't forget to leave a like below and share this video with someone who you think may find uh it useful okay thank you so on to my next video guys i'll talk to you then goodbye